going on boys and girls my name is vk back with another exciting phenomenal creations fusion 9 tutorial this is the, the sixth episode in the series if you haven't checked out the series a really cool journey of knowledge in the fusion 9 environment check it out in the link down below to see the full playlist if you're working with fusion 9 and you don't have so much experience in it really cool series please check it out and hey if you do love these tutorials you find this helpful please share me some love subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and uh, consider that subscription and also please hit that notification bell so you will get notified every time i'll create a new episode and it drops on the internet and you can watch it and be one of the first so please do that consider it let's move on all right so today what we do here inside fusion 9 is pretty cool it's simple and it looks something like this all right pretty dope this example you just saw on the screen is based of a suggestion about a guy who reached me out in social media and asked me if it's possible to create a Fusion 9 tutorial, uh, which is uh, following this vlog trend on creating this uh, simple uh, brush style uh, text animation with some aerial footage in the background. Just give it this vloggy, you know, intro graphic style thing. And I was like, you got it. But the thing he was really, um, really important with what was that it has to be simple. It has to be simple and easy to understand for beginners. And so I was like, yeah, let's do this. But when we look at the flow chart here, uh, we can see it, it can be a little bit intimidating. You can know it, it can be a little bit intimidating seeing uh, these many nodes here. But I can I promise you they are simple to learn, easy to understand nodes. And you will understand you will be learning a lot of this tutorial so let's just try out and let's go and begin this tutorial itself so i took the liberty to create a new composition and i renamed it to snazzy title tutorial but that doesn't matter and the first thing we can do is to add our single um single viewer mode here you can select here uh, on top to have a single view here so we can just have one window and i want to work with the text node first i'm going to add my text so what i do is i will just go ahead and hit shift spacebar to, to find in my text tool text plus to node here let's find that and click number one so we have it on the first viewer here and let's type in journey that is the text i want to use and i use the font called stay chill Let's find the stay chill. There's the stay chill uh, the font there. Really dig this font, this cool beachy summer like font here. So, this is what we have. We have our text here. And next thing we do is we'll go ahead and add a background. So, what we do is we take again shift spacebar and find the background node here. Let's put it on underneath our text tool and let's and let's drag this alpha slider to zero that will you can see in this little color picker here it will turn it all the way transparent so that's good to have this is required when we do the brush painting effect then we can have the background selected and again a shift spacebar and find the paint tool and this will be our main effect creating that brushy um animation and we're gonna we can animate a paintbrush basically doing this. All right, so now combining these nodes together, we have our text node and we have our background and combined with our paint node. Next thing we do is to add the almighty merge node, which which is used to combine everything inside Fusion. So this is our our god node here. It helps doing everything. So uh, here's important. Take the yellow uh, yellow arrow, which is the foreground, drag that to the text. Take the green arrow, which is the background, drag that to the paint here. Then we can go and take the merge node, click number one, so we see the merge node in the viewer here. Let's go ahead and select the paint node here, and select here the left side, this polygraph tool here. And this will just um, give us the opportunity to draw like a mask, this Poline mask. Almost like in After Effects, you have your masking tool, your pen tool in a very similar way. All right, so what we do here, we can go ahead and select a color for something like pink or something so we can see what we're working with. And then I will just start adding this kind of path here following like this. 
all right so and once you have successfully made one letter how you move to the second one is basically giving this uh, fluid uh, animation feel okay I don't know how to explain it but I mean you just do like this and then you just continue uh, you can th feel like if you would write this word without lifting the pen so that is how you want to animate it so I will be back when I have done something in that manner Already, and once you have done that, what we can do is we can go ahead and crush the apply controls, go to the brush controls here, the right side. Let's drop the softness down. And then, if you want, you can go ahead and readjust these points. So, oh, and so we can like cover all the white areas. It doesn't have to be perfect because we can also go to the size panel and just size this thing up a little bit. So. We just cover all the white areas. All right, so now this looks pretty freaking terrible. So how do we fix this? It's pretty easy. We can now we can go ahead and go to the apply controls and pick that to be white or the color you now choose will be the color of the text. So I'll choose that the white color. And now when I go to the merge node, here's where the magic happens. So I want the, this brush thing happen inside my text. So how I will do that in just a minute is what we're gonna play with the operator. But first, let's 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 create this animation. So go to the paint tool. Let's, um, we have 190 frames here. It's pretty good, let's take, go to the 100 frame. Uh, let's go to the stroke controls here. And here, the right on end is basically how we animate this, this brush uh, effect here. Okay, so let's go ahead and right click, click animate. Go to the first frame, and let's take the right on end all the way to zero. So when we hit play, we can see it doing the animation for itself. Cool. All right. Now what we'll talk about the operator, let's go to the merge node and having the operator on over is really logically. Now this paintbrush is on top of our paint. So we see the paint on top of everything. But if we, if we change the operator to in inside, that means we put that paint inside that text layer. And then it also controls. So when I click in, and we go to the first frame, we can see it does this brush effect here. It was that simple, really cool, real simple. Let's move on. So here we can see our first group of nodes, and this is um, how one effect will look like when you're working with one text. So now I will add that brush, uh, brush stroke I had here. If we go to the first example, we can see after the Y is animated, you can see this brush stroke happening. So that's what we're gonna do. So what I do here, let's go to the, uh, to to window viewing here. Sorry if you can hear my dog barking. That just happens sometimes. So, all right. So once we have applied the two window viewing, we can now start working with the brush, uh, the brush um, stroke here. And for our luck, with this font, you can get this also these brush elements inside that font. So how we work with this, we can take the first text node, which is the journey text copy it, go underneath it, pl press place, and then we just hit that to the second viewer here. And let's go ahead and take the stay chill extra font. And I will, um, I will delay this. Um, so if you want these fonts, you can download them in the description down below. These are just for personal use, not for commercial, but for this kind of stuff, it works really good. So then I will hit A on my keyboard that letter corresponds to this brush stroke, which I really like. So that's what I'm going to use. We can scale it up if you want to. And then we do the exact same thing, emphasis on exact same thing with the animation, with the brush feel. So we'll be back when I have done that. Here a small point, which is really good to know when when I'm ready to start animating this uh, this brush effect here. So the thing which you do, what's really good is when you time the animation to something else. So when you move the slider here, you can see the animation happening for the first viewer, the journey text. So I want this uh, this animation to start exactly when the the Y letter, the last letter, is done animated. So I look here. And I find the point where the frame where it stops here. I want to start this animation. So then we'll have the paint to selected, go to animate and have that go 
to the end right here, move up 20 frames, and then let's just hit that. And then for exact same thing, let's go to the apply controls. Let's take the, the color to white. Let's go to the merge node and have it on the inside operation. So now when we look at this for the two separate windows, we see the journey applying and the Y letter is done and then it will, you know, animate the brush stroke. So that's really cool. So now let's go ahead and combine these two. Real simple how we do this is we go ahead and apply a merge node, merge node here. And I want the foreground to be this mer this node and the background to be this brush stroke. Okay, that was like this. And then let's take the merge, merge node and put that on the second of yours so we can see them. We're gonna select the first node and put a transform node here so that I can move it more freely and I can uncheck the use size and aspect so I can scale this up in a way that I like. Something like this looks pretty good. And then again, I want to change uh, this, uh, the coloring of this so it's a little bit different. Like the original example, I could see I have a little, little this, sorry, this bluish color there. So how super simple, go to the paint tool, go to the apply controls and just select the color. I want something like this and it changed to the blue. So that's real simple. That's really cool. So the thing I want now to do is to add some scaling to this animation. So we have like um, this scaling down effect happening. All right. So how I do this is I go to the merge node, hit shift space bar, take another transform node, which will apply scaling to this whole thing. Let's put down, down a second view so we can see what we're doing. Let's go to the, okay, the animation stops right here. So I can go to the frame 135, for example. And then what I will what I will do is go to size, right click, animate, and go to the first frame and have this to be something like one comma three. Okay, that didn't work. Yes, yeah, because it's point one point three, something like this. So now when we look at this in the beginning, we can see it has this scale down effect when it does this. All right, now another a couple tricks we can do to smooth out these animations a little bit is to use the spline editor to give it some more easy easing. Um, the first thing I want to do is for this brush stroke, if you will look at it, it's pretty dull. It's not that cool. So let's go ahead and click this paint node here. Let's go to the spline editor, have just one animation selected and go to that paint number two. We can see here, let's expand it with this button so we can see the animation. It's just a linear, straight animation and it has these jagged edges. It's, there's nothing smooth in this graph. Hit Control A to select all those points and just hit F on your keyboard to flatten it out. So let's go back to the flowchart and see how this looks like. There's some more smoothness, I dig that more. Good. Then I could do the same thing for the transform for the scaling of this whole thing here. Let's hit that transform node, expand this, control A and hit F on our keyboard. So now when we do the, the scale down, it's also a lot smoother. No like hard edges and this kind of stuff. Looks pretty good. All right, so now we have this. Now we have to add our background image or our footage there. So how I do this is again, have the last node in the line selected, hit shift. Spacebar, hit mer the merge node, merge number four. This is our final merge node we're gonna use. And now we're gonna put, uh, have this in the foreground, the whole, this whole thing in the foreground. And then just on the background, we're gonna use some aerial footage. So I will drop that in right now. All right, so I dropped in here. I can put on the first viewer here so we can, uh, we, we can see here we have our aerial footage. So now I wanna put this in the background of this whole thing. So let's go ahead and take the, then let's put this on the first node here. All right, so what we do here is take just the green arrow and put that to the beautiful, beautiful lake footage and have the merge node seen on screen number two. So what we do now is when we look at this, oh yeah, it's not in the background, sorry. Hold Alt key, drop the merge, put that on the background and have the transform node to be on the foreground. So now we have it, so all right. 
So now when we, when we check this out, we can see our whole effect happening. So this is basically what we have here. We have our scale down. We have our um, animation happening. So what we can do here, if you want to, another cool trick you can do is you can add a color corrector. If you just, for, for example, you want to add some contrast to the background and lift up the highlights, crush the lift down, stuff like this. Let's have... Let me just give this a little spin here. And we can see... We have this pretty cool animation going on here. And then you can, at any time, you can go further, adjust uh, the animation with the spline editors. You can put some more effects. You can do some more brushing. You can click, you can type in a vlog episode 346 or whatever you want to do. And it, it's really up to you. So this is really cool. A lot of cool stuff is happening. Hope you guys did enjoy this tutorial. You found something useful stuff out of this. Now, I will say just thank you. Thank you for watching this tutorial. Please like and comment th this video if you did enjoy this as I did. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Don't forget to suggest me like this guy did over in the comments, in the forum, in social media. Go check me out there and suggest your own tutorials. Subscribe if you haven't already. I'll see you guys in the next video tutorial. My name is VK. Over and out.